was like a little bit confused, but obviously intrigued. And uh, as soon as I read the script, I was like, oh, that doesn't matter. That's not what we're doing. Um, <laughs> uh, accuracy and uh, realism is not really the full name of the game here, although at times 100%, oh, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, so as soon as I read that, I, I was just like, oh yeah, this is going to be really fun. And it's, it was so obvious in the script how much fun it would be. Like, And that is a wrap on Comic-Con 2022. Big, big difference from last year. We are back up to full speed. I think there was like 250,000-ish people here. It is Sunday, day four. I've gone all four days. And yeah, as always, a little bit of exhaustion starts to creep in towards the last day. But a little bit of a recap for what I went through this week. So Thursday, I ended up doing um, the panel for Super Mario Brothers movie. Really great teaser trailer, they showed it off and Jack Black takes the throne of Bowser on stage live doing the lines. He had this orange beard just for Bowser. A lot of fun there. Um, later that night we went to a brand new event, a new place opened up for gaming called Coexist. Um, that was really fun. It's like all these little different rooms where they have like PS2s, Dreamcast, Xbox. Every system available ever made is basically in this place. One place you get to go ahead and play all the games you would like. So a lot of fun there. Uh, Friday I went to the big panels. Went to a panel for Good Omens. Went to a panel for Rings of Power as well as uh, Wheel of Time. They showed off clips for that. Very excited for that. And ended up going to a Rings of Power, uh, kind of like a one, uh, the one ring.net or something like that, with sideshow kind of giveaway. So that was the first time going there. That was a lot of fun. That was an Irish pub, so got to draw ourselves there. Saturday was another big one. Went to a peripheral panel for a brand new Amazon streaming series coming soon. And ended up going to a really cool after party called Yellow Jackets on Showtime. It was official here. A uh, really cool kind of in-universe party at the Javits Center where they had a bunch of trees and fog. And it's all about this show, about these people crash landing in the woods and having to survive. So they had a lot of... Um, kind of treats that resembled uh, stuff like uh, you know meat on skewers and different things like that and free drinks and food all night so you can't go wrong there of course uh, went up to the Sonic Boombox party as well and, and I did see a Jamie Lee Curtis panel on Saturday as well which is really cool I'm not a big Halloween fan but I'll tell you what it's always awesome to see an actor that is super humbling and knows how she got there and it's because of the fans so it's cool because she was really giving a lot back to the fans in that panel even it was willing to go over time basically getting kicked off of the panel with the time limit and said screw that I'm gonna still keep talking until my point is finished I love when the creators are that giving to the fans um, and today's Sunday we ended up going to uh, a couple's I went to a Star Wars panel today for Disney film Lucasfilm uh, we got a new book announcement for an Inquisitor story that takes place after Order 66 shows a Jedi that is going to be turning into Inquisitor so that one's called um, Rise of the Red Blade um, forgot to mention there was also a High Republic panel on Saturday we got basically the rest of the covers revealed for phase two we also had a brand new uh, anthology announced, which is going to have all the creators from phase one and phase two doing short stories that are going to be in all different segments of the High Republic from phase one, phase two, phase three, and beyond. We also had Charles Soule announcing he is writing a kid's book with his own daughter for the High Republic. So really cool stuff there. And they had the entire crew of the High Republic all on one panel. There was like basically not, enough, not even enough seats at one point. They do a little bit of musical chairs and, and it was quite something to see that entire crew and the fact that they're going to have a High Republic uh, has its own panel at New York Comic Con. It shows you the uh, success and everything that is going on uh, over there with the High Republic and the publishing. Uh, we also got to see a uh, spotlight panel for Oscar Isaac. Got to be in the room for Oscar Isaac. Of course, there were questions asked about Moon Knight Season 2. 
Of course, he couldn't confirm that there, but nonetheless, it was a very enjoyable panel uh, Q&A. And he's also in charge of a, a new comic book series uh, called uh, Something Sparrow. Um, so look out for that. I'm not sure the exact title at the moment of time. It's been a long weekend, guys. Um, managed to snag some pretty cool loot while I was here. I did manage to get a cool Star Wars uh, backpack that holds my helmets, as well as a cool jacket. I'm wearing it right now, this little uh, Rogue Squadron logo from Heroes and Villains. So, very happy with that choice. Of course, I got some, some comics. I got the Dark Man, uh, the Batman uh, Hush, as well as Devil's Reign from Marvel, the Daredevil story with Kingpin being mayor of New York City picked up uh, Path of Deceit, The High Republic Phase 2, of course, and I picked up a Cobb Banth figure as well as a Sergeant Creel comic book exclusive cover um, for Black Series uh, figure. And if that wasn't only all, ended up getting um, into the panel for the weird Al Yankovic uh, biopic that's coming out with uh, Daniel Radcliffe. Harry Potter himself is starring as uh, the, the infamous uh, Reared Al. So, that was a fun panel, um, but yeah, that about does it. Ate a lot of good food while I was here, as usual. It's always fun being at New York Comic Con and having access to just so many different things to try out here as far as food and everything else. And a lot of great nightlife, a lot of great activities to be had, as always. Of course, uh, the four days flies by as it usually does. Um, didn't get to spend as much time in Artist Alley this year as I would like, but hey, there's always next year. I'm sure next year is even going to be bigger. And it's pretty cool because they opened up new places. The, the convention center is bigger than ever. They have a new gaming area on the convention center floor here um, that was opened up even more. Uh, they have a tabletop gaming area all the way in the, in the bottom of the actual convention. And uh, yeah, everything's self-contained. There's no more needing to go to Times Square to go to the Madison Square Garden uh, venue or the Hammerstein Ballroom. Everything is contained in, uh, let's see, uh, the North Javits Center uh, floor four and floor five. So as you see, uh, everybody's starting to thin out the crowd down below. And uh, that's gonna do it for me here for another year at New York Comic Con. Make sure to go ahead and check out the cosplay video that I also have for some of the really cool, unique costumes people are putting together at Comic Con. Um, for more on Star Wars conventions, everything else, you're already in the right place, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let me know in the comment section down below if you're at Comic Con 2022 this year. I'll see everybody next year at Comic Con 2023. I think it's a little bit later in October next year, but October nonetheless, right in time for Halloween. So that's going to do it for me, Star Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye. Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.